guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we're building the perfect family home. Uh, and it's titled as such because uh, this is being built in the game save that I am doing my parenthood let's play in. And if you don't know, uh, the Sims in my parenthood let's play are very quirky and very... Uh, very strange. They have a crazy house. It almost looks like it's been slapped together. Uh, it's colorful. It's well. It, it was a build here on YouTube called Quirky House, so you can look that up as well. And the idea is that they're like the odd ones out. So this, we're trying to turn their neighborhood into like a, a, a set of perfect homes. And then there's theirs. That's cluttered. It's like a hoarder's house. It's kind of crazy. It, it's all that kind of stuff. So it's like a really it's a home that none of the other neighbors want there. Essentially, that's the idea. So we're turning the other four houses in this neighborhood into perfect, you know, the stereotypical perfect looking homes. You know, that's kind of, that's the idea. Uh, so that's what this is. This one, super simple. This is actually the second one. Uh, the first one I did, the build video hasn't gone out yet because I actually lost the original footage for it, but we're going to go back to it and we're going to, we'll do the furnishing as a video, but it won't have the build, unfortunately. Anyway, so this is the second one. I thought for this one, uh, because it's on the corner, we could just do a really basic, you know, uh, I guess perfect looking house. It's literally just a rectangle, but it's like you see this in all like, on, the, on these uh, streets of houses, they just have like this perfect rectangle sitting there, like this beautifully white house, you know, dark uh, roof tiles, perfectly mowed lawn. That was the idea behind it. And that's what we're doing here is we're, we're just making this perfect little house. Uh, well, it's not little actually, it's a four bedroom, three bathrooms. Pretty good. So in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm using these walls to create a perfectly mowed lawn. Because uh, if you use walls, you can mask out where terrain paints go. So you can see, I just use uh, one color here and I decided, uh, I think I, I decided I didn't actually want that color because I was like, you know, I probably should have tested which colors I wanted first. Yeah, so once you paint the whole lot, you can see like it leaves whatever's underneath the walls, like it doesn't paint under that. Uh, you used to be able to do this in like The Sims 3 and The Sims 2 just using floor tiles, but that doesn't work anymore. You have to use like rooms in The Sims 4 for it to like mask out. Anyway, so I do my base coat there and then I'm going to do that again by putting all the walls over the lot. I was trying to figure out a better way to do it. It didn't really work as you can see so <laughs> it's a little bit of tedious but once i got it done it was perfectly fine um so just doing all the walls again and then this time i just do the other color that i probably should have done the first time around and as you can see we have a nicely mowed lawn or at least it looks like that that's the idea like there's perfectly like i'm so I count how many times i say perfect in this these lovely there's like straight lines of mowed grass it's just so immaculate that's the idea and then i'm just uh, sort of removing around the edges where the fence is because i feel like it shouldn't be on the other side of the fence. So that's why I did that. And we have this nice chimney uh, on the side of the house. There, a little custom one that we did ourselves because I thought it'd be a little bit more precise that way. You know, exactly how we want it. Uh, and we're just getting a couple of gates in there. I had to, you can't, you can't actually do two of those gates next to each other. You have to use a cheat to do it, which is kind of weird. Anyway, just some nice bricks going up to the front door. And we just do all these like... Basically, like the landscaping is so... Like we have these these pots at the front of the house exactly symmetrical like the house basically the house is completely symmetrical on the outside except for the chimney the chimney is the only thing that isn't but i think that gives it that gives it that look that's just like oh my gosh this is this is one of those houses do you live in one of those houses because i don't like you if you do because your house is more perfect than mine <laughs> anyway yeah so I just got a couple of like uh i don't know what are those like rose bushes out the front uh all of them lined up spaced evenly uh i got some really nice trimmed trees around the house as well uh and the, the back of the house is also like a mirror of the front as well obviously there's not a, there's not much of a backyard because it sort of backs around onto the fence and the, the canal there but that's fine that doesn't matter. Now, actually, trying to work out the layout on this one was interesting. And you'll see, I had the most trouble with the living room because, first of all, we had to have uh, a chimney. Oh, a chimney, a fireplace, because we have a chimney, right? So we, we, we got to have, the idea was to have a fireplace. Then I was trying to find sofas. And I at this point, I was like, why doesn't The Sims 4 have any, like, normal sofas? Like, I, honestly, like, all the sofas, and I've said this so many times before, but there's, like, maybe one or two sofas in the game that look like regular sofas that people would have in their house the rest of them are like either some outlandish modern thing or some heavily stylized sofa or like some victorian styled one it's like why is there no like regular people sofa in this game there's like one or two like i said one or two of them and that's about it and that i don't know that just really annoys me we need and i was doing all this stuff and i was trying to get this layout to work 
and I just gave up and I was like, I'm going to come back. I, like I, this was like the other day and I was like, I'm going to come back like, tomorrow and I'll try again. Because you can see, you can see here is what I'm trying to do is trying to get the layout to work. I, want, I did want the stairs there. I did like the idea of the stairs sort of being tucked away. Uh, but in the end, that didn't work out. We had to do a different layout here. Uh, one that worked with the windows of the house and all that. Uh, and the thing is, I didn't want the living room to be too big either. Like I didn't want it to take up too much space or anything like that. And then I was trying to figure out maybe if we do doors on either side there to the living room. So there's two entrances. And I was like, no, that's kind of ridiculous. What if we have an archway to the stairs and then a door to the living room? And I was like, that's kind of cool. Because then you have uh, bookcases either side of the stairs and you have a nice little section there for a bathroom. And it actually seemed to work out because it allowed us to have a nice foyer, a nice entrance to the house, a study off to the right, and then the kitchen dining up the back. I guess the only thing this house is missing if considering it has a label of perfect family home, I guess it is missing a proper dining room, but you could turn the, the office space into a dining room if you wanted very easily. Uh, upstairs, the layout was pretty simple because uh, normally I don't just build rectangular houses. Like this is literally just a rectangle, this house. So uh, the build was very simple and it also meant the layout was much easier to do than a normal one for me, especially if you go look at the quirky house uh, build video here on YouTube. That The shape of that thing is ridiculous and trying to get a layout of that fit things in that was difficult uh i also tried to choose like a flooring that i wanted in here i thought i was thinking you know a family home it's not going to be like a super modern looking thing i was like i don't want to go too modern but we get these sort of um these nice stone floor tiles in the sort of foyer the kitchen and the bathrooms then all the other rooms just have really nice fluffy carpet that was the idea there just nice really nice carpet you know the one that that's just been put in that's really spongy and you walk around and you're like oh my god how do they have carpet that is this good like that kind of carpet i remember i i just remember when i was like 10 years old my friend um they had their house renovated and when i went over like i walked on like and they were like take off your take off your shoes because like they literally had it done maybe like the week before and i was like and it was like white carpet so like take off your shoes i was like fair enough fair enough then my bare feet they go on the carpet and it's just the world's soft i don't think i've ever felt carpet like that since and i don't know how it was so good like they must have bought so many like underlays for that thing they must have had, like, some incredible underlay to that carpet it was so good i can't imagine it's good anymore like this was i assume they've probably had it redone since because this was like i guess they don't have to but it was uh, 13 years ago it would have been yeah 13 years ago uh <laughs> I don't imagine it's that soft anymore, but I just remember on my feet, I was like, oh my, that, that's the carpet that this house has. It just so good that you don't believe it. Uh, and because this is like the, the perfect family home, we're keeping it like the color scheme pretty, pretty standard, I guess, but still having a bit of fun with it, getting like little uh, flowers here and there and, so, and some pops of color around the place. Not so much in the master bedroom, like that's pretty standard. Um, just you know kind of basic colors the the couch is a bit of a is a green one instead because i thought it looked a little bit better with that uh it, it's supposed to be like this kind of manicured perfectly set up home i've said perfect about a thousand times now but you know like it's almost like uh, it's sort of almost a show home level of organization but not quite because i still do put some clutter and some children's toys around the place so it's not it's not like immaculate show home but you know like that kind of vibe where it's like why does your house look like this no one's house looks like this that's <laughs> that's kind of the idea right like it's supposed to be supposed to be like that but also i wanted it to feel like people actually live here like there's stuff around the place that you wouldn't you know like people you know people have children's toys they have that um and when we get down to the living room as well there's gonna be some cool things in there uh that you will see don't want to spoil it. I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but you'll see in a minute. Oh, and also, yeah, don't... <laughs> all the lights everywhere at the moment. Don't worry, we, we changed all those. I don't know if you've noticed that already, but like I put all the lights in just so I could see what I was doing. Um, and then I sort of just remove them once I get the actual lighting in. Like we, you know, just it, it makes it easier to see what you're doing inside when it's super dark. Uh, yeah, so this is the family bathroom with a big old jacuzzi tub because I thought, that, you know, the perfect home needs a perfect tub. I mean, what's better than a tub of that caliber? That would be pretty damn sweet. Nice shower right there. Uh, and of course, we have we have the toilet paper for all the all the, the toilets everywhere because you know you need it. It's gonna it's gonna help out, I guess. Not really, but you know. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna be doing uh, two. Yeah, there's gonna be two more uh, really nice manicured homes in this little area. So if you have any suggestions or like any any type of like any house that you want to reference stuff of. 
Like maybe if there's like some house in a TV show or movie that you're like, that looks like it would fit in this little spot. It's supposed to be just like, I guess almost American suburbia is kind of the theme of this area, uh, I would say. Uh, that's that's what I would say. It's kind of, it's almost like, um, what, colonial style houses, but not, wait, I, I don't know. I, I always forget which... A colonial house. Let's see. I always forget which is the exact style. That, yeah, it's kind. Of, it's kind of a colonial house, but um, not. Not. Yeah. It. Oh, yeah. It definitely is, but not super detailed. Like it's not. It's a. It's a. A basic level colonial house. That's kind of the style of this. I would say. I thought it was, but I, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't sure enough, because then it's because colonial is similar to a Victorian house, isn't it? Similar. They're similar, but there's distinct differences. Yeah, there is. Yeah, so just for your information, Colonial House. Yeah, um, yeah. So if you have any like suggestions or like uh, of reference images you want to see, then because we, we got two more to do in this little area, which I'm having fun with. So it's it's good, it's good inspiration because a lot of people, some of the time, like I won't do a build video here on the channel, maybe for a month or so, and people are like, oh, bring back builds, they miss builds. But then, here's the thing, like if I'm not, and I've said this in other videos before as well, if I'm not inspired or I don't have the the motivation to do a build it's not going to be good like it's not going to turn out that well it's not going to be fun for me to do it's probably not going to be fun to watch if it's not a good build you know like that's why if there's not a build for a while that's why um and i've said this before as well like it's as simple as that like i don't want to force out a build for the sake of getting a build video out like if it's not if it's not inspired it's not going to be good and i don't enjoy it as well like this is simple as that really but uh you know, I'm, I'm feeling this little area. I've got the inspiration to do this area. I think it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. And especially when it's done in the Let's Play as well. And they have all these perfect homes surrounding them. And then their house cluttered and messy as all hell. It's it's just great. Uh, so a little heads up. That double bed, I wasn't sure that it worked on the right-hand side where it's close to the wall. And I did test it and it didn't work. Uh, I think it's... it's The problem was when I, when I had the sim in there, they couldn't get past the little chair. So I think if you move the chair, it might work. Um... But I had already uploaded the house to the gallery, so I was like, oh, all right. Well, it's already on the gallery, so I won't, won't change it now. But as a heads up, that doesn't work. But I mean, you can still use a double bed because your sim could just scoot across, so that would that would work fine too. So yeah, so basically in this house, we have, you know, the master bedroom with the ensuite, and then we have uh, the child's bedroom, and then I guess just a generic double bedroom, and then this, which is, uh, I guess, another, well, no, sorry, it was a toddler's bedroom was the other one, and then this is the child's bedroom. So you could have a toddler, child, and teen really is kind of what I furnished this house for. Although, yeah, I probably want to change the bed in the other room. But I thought it was like, it just seemed like too, too perfect, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Uh, so downstairs, back to this pesky living room that I couldn't furnish right the first time around. Um, again, I had the same bloody problem with the sofas, man. Like, they're just not, like, I couldn't, I mean, it was just really annoying me. Like what? What is going on in this game with sofas? Uh, anyway, so I ended up moving the, the entrance to the to the living room just because I wanted to get a three seater along the back there. It just made more sense than having three th seaters on the other side. So we have two seaters on the sides, uh, three seater at the back. It just made more sense that way. So I had to move the door. I did like where the door was, but it just didn't make sense. Uh, so I decided to use that uh, that canvas art as like I guess the color scheme for the room, or at least for the sofas to sort of bring some color into the space because I thought if you get the main color palette on the wall then we can sort of bring it into the sofa so we have this almost bluish turquoisey no it's not a turquoise bluish aqua kind of color going on with the, the surface on the side which I thought was kind of cool a little bit different so at least it's not like a black and white living room although this is called a perfect family home so you probably would be some really like clean pristine space that would just be ridiculous uh, anyway, so here I'm just looking for some items that we can put around the place, like little uh, little things for the coffee table. I love those coffee tables, those um, two by two coffee tables, so good. One of my favorite items in the game now, I swear. I'm trying to work them into all, all the spaces that I can. Uh, and then we have a couple of side tables there for the sofa, and I thought we could get some more yellow into the room with that plant, because it goes well with the painting on the wall, uh, which I thought was quite, quite good. Uh, and then I thought, you know, we got this huge room. I did actually originally think I was like, oh, I want to get like a grand piano in here, but it's, like, it's just not going to fit. So then I was like, why don't we just use the keyboard? Because uh, I thought that would be a good little thing to just have in the corner. So like, again, like I said, it's just almost like it is very made up this home but it's also it's also got the little lived in vibe too with like the keyboard there you know someone's just put it in the corner so they could you know uh play away play some music maybe write some songs all that kind of stuff so i don't know maybe it was one of the kids in the house maybe it's the the teenager learning to play piano or something uh so yeah 
And then this side was like, we have a huge space over here. Let's just get a, you know, let's get a stereo. Let's create almost like a little entertainment system out of it. Uh, and just sort of layer some cabinets around here to make it look like a larger sort of system. And just get a, I think I put a few stacks of CDs on it as well, just to make it look like the sort of, I mean, who uses CDs anymore? Let's be honest. I mean, some people do, but very, very uncommon to, to still be using CDs. It's just so much easier just to use a streaming service uh, for music these days. Yeah. I mean, okay, I will allow, I feel like I will allow vinyl. Vinyl sounds great. And it's got that sort of, it's got that sound signature that you don't get on digital files. So vinyl is cool. I feel like there's no point to use CDs anymore over, there's no point using CDs over digital, I don't think. Whereas using vinyl over digital, there's, there's a difference. Um, and I feel like that makes sense. CDs are like, just digital, but less useful than uh, <laughs> than just using a streaming service. <laughs> They're less useful, right? I don't know, like that. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm talking about it, but that, that's that's how I feel. Anyway, onto the kitchen area, which is a nice, a big. Uh, basically, it's just a big, open sort of kitchen, and then we got a family dining table in there. Uh, yeah, would it be nice to have a proper dining room? Uh, but I guess, like I said, you could replace the office with the dining space, which maybe I should have done if it is the perfect family home. But the only thing is then you wouldn't have had, because I think an office is also a very, very useful space um, for a family home. Uh, just because you can do, go in there, do your schoolwork, do your, I don't know, your actual work, your work work. I don't know, you know, like I think it's a good, a good little room to have. Uh, so just playing around with all these cabinets because I just wanted to raise them above the fridge so the fridge looked like it fit a little bit better. Uh, just there, so we got that in. Uh, and then I believe I changed the counters to have a yeah, black worktop instead just because I think cream worktops with the cream flooring was probably a little bit much. I was like, maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, but then we get a nice stove in there, dishwasher, all that kind of stuff, all the kind of appliances that you need. I really wish a microwave would fit under that that piece. I mentioned that and I think in my parenthood overview video, I was like, it's almost perfect. That, that little shelving thing is almost perfect. If that bottom shelf was a little bit higher that could fit a microwave under it, it would be phenomenal. Like that's, cause then you'd have essentially a built-in microwave and it'd be great. Um, I took a while to choose a chair here that I wanted. Um, I wasn't really sure. I'm still not convinced on those chairs, but I think it was the best of the worst that I, that I could select for the, the chairing there. And I was like, we need to do some, like, okay. So the, the kitchen at the moment, like it's ending up really black and white, which I didn't want it to. And I was trying to find some, a little bit of color, and I th we got some through that that painting, a weird cat painting that's like blue and that. And I was trying to find some colorful appliances too that sort of fit the kitchen, but nothing really did. And I was just like, ah, oh, man, it's just uh, I couldn't find some nice colorful kitchen appliances because I didn't want to add color to the actual like counters and all that because I think that would be a bit much. And then I tried to do over this side, I tried to do like a feature wall to match in with the blue of the painting. But it just, it was way too strong. And you'll see, you'll see me put it in soon and you'll be like, ooh, because it just like that, that sort of blue there. It's like, it just seems way out of character of the house. Like it's all really pristine and all that. And then it's just like, this bam, this bright blue wall. And it's just, I think it was, I looked at it. I was like, oh, it's just, it's too much. It, it's too much. And especially for this house. It doesn't make sense. Um, I leave it there for a while because I'm still like, mm, maybe. Maybe. And then in the end, no, <laughs> no, it's still there, but it will go in a second. Uh, so I'm just doing the same landscaping around the back of the house because I hadn't done that yet. And the pathway around the back. Uh, and you did notice I put a bin in the kitchen too. So there is that. I didn't forget the bin. And there's also a bin outside too. I don't actually know if the outdoor bin is functional uh, where I put it in the end. I mean, you'll see in just a moment, I put it around the back, um, sort of in front of the door. I don't know if that's functional or not, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, and then around the front, get a post box. Uh, the post box, I feel like I don't know if I can use it there, but it doesn't really matter because things will just teleport into it and you can, and when you get bills and stuff, it's fine because you just get it to your inventory and it's usually, usually okay, I think. It should, ho hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know. I guess we'll, <laughs> I guess we'll find out again. Well, sorry, but it looks good there. That's why, that's why I put it there. It's like it built into the fence as well. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, so the office, I got some double desks, uh, one like with bookcases behind it. The other one just has some shelves above it just because I didn't want uh, all these bookcases everywhere. I thought it was probably a bit much. And we got, I, I wish there was more things to put on those shelves, but really nothing useful would fit on the shelves. So they're kind of there more as decoration. Uh, I got a plant on there and I think maybe, 
Did I put anything else? Because uh, I thought some like little pile of mail there would be kind of cool. I don't know, some pencils as well as what, what what I put on the shelves. So kind of kind of useless shelves in the end. But uh, then we just got like a little sitting area here so you could sit and read or something just in the quiet, just away from everybody else uh, is the idea with that. And just like a little lamp in the corner as well to add some ambiance. Uh, and I think that's pretty much the build. I think I do uh maybe a mirror and a table in the foyer and that's about it kept kept the foyer pretty simple because as you can see it's just a room of doors it's basically basically a hallway but anyway here we are in the screenshots of the perfect family home as you can see the grass is beautifully mown uh mown mode mown i think it's mown um, anyway, yeah, it look, you can't even tell which side is the front, which side is the back, because the house is all completely symmetrical. It looks exactly the same on the outside. It is perfect, is what that is. Absolutely perfecto. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. I really like the grass effect. I think that the sort of mown lawn uh, really just lifts it to the next level over just regular grass. Anyway, here's the living room. There's a keyboard in the back corner there, which I thought was a kind of cool idea. Um, I like the living room. In the end, I think the living room turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I wish that um, we had more sofas though. Little office there, nothing too special. Just a desk and computer and a little reading nook. Here's the kitchen dining area, of course, right there. And of course, you can download this on the Sims 4 Gallery. Uh, you can click the link down below to download it, or you can search for hashtag the Sim Supply or my origin ID, which is the Sim Supply. Same as my username on here on YouTube, just without the spaces, all one word, the Sim Supply. Uh, so you can find it there on the gallery. Here's a landing upstairs, the master bedroom, which I think is quite nice because it's actually quite spacious in the end, which is something that you don't often get uh, in my Sims builds. There's not a lot of space. I usually do the rooms just the right size uh little kids room there nothing too special i don't know I, I i don't know about the kids room but it has everything you need so i think that's all right that's just a standard sort of double bedroom there a couple angles of that one uh and then uh, i think we move on to yeah the kid the oh sorry the toddler's bedroom before this is the kid's bedroom which i think is kind of fun i really like that bedspread there as well and there's the layout pretty simple but you can see how it all sort of flows together just there and the upstairs but yeah that will pretty much do it for this build hope you enjoyed it we'll be back with some more builds soon but remember if there's not one for a little bit it's because i'm not inspired but I think at the moment I am, so there should hopefully be another one soon. Uh, but you can click on screen to subscribe if you haven't already. Click for some more builds or some other videos, all that kind of stuff. Uh, or go to my website as well. Very cool place to visit. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.